Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homix Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to focus our attention on the layers of the atmosphere. Now, the layers of the atmosphere are very important to us because the atmosphere is essential for life to exist on the planet. Now, the atmosphere today is very different from what it was like 2 billion years ago. There are a lot of noxious gases like sulfur and methane in the atmosphere, unlike today, which is mostly nitrogen and oxygen. Well, those gases basically came through the violent volcanic eruptions that occurred during the early years of our Earth. That process called outgassing basically released a tremendous amount of noxious gases into the atmosphere. You'll notice that oxygen was not a major part of that early atmosphere, very simply because there was not a large abundance of plants during that time. Now, our atmosphere today is very important to us because it's essential for life to exist. Without the atmosphere, there's no oxygen, there's no life on the planet. We know that our atmosphere is broken up into multiple layers, and we'll talk about the four basic layers of the atmosphere. And we'll also focus on the fact that temperature is an extremely important concept when going from one layer to the next. And like I stated earlier, notice the composition is very, very different from the early atmosphere two billion years ago. Beautiful photograph of the atmosphere today with the white clouds. We're going to focus our attention on that layer where all the clouds are found. This called the troposphere. We'll get to that in a second. And as we increase our altitude or we increase our elevation above the Earth, you're going to go from one layer to the next, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere. So let's jump into the troposphere talk a little bit about it. So with this layer, it's going to be a layer that we currently live in. It's where the majority of our water vapor is found. And with that being said, that's where the majority of our weather is going to be found as well within our troposphere. Because we live, for the most part, close to sea level, we're going to have the majority of the troposphere all the stratosphere, all the mesosphere, and all the thermosphere pushing down on top of us. So we're going to have the greatest atmospheric pressure found within the troposphere. As you travel up through the troposphere, you're physically getting further away from the Earth, so temperature is going to decrease. And that's evident when you look at mountain ranges that are high enough. Many of them tend to be snow-capped even in the summertime. Next layer up is what we call the stratosphere. Stratosphere is going to be super important to us because it's going to house what's called the ozone layer. The ozone layer is a part, special part of the stratosphere that protects us from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun, which is currently shortwave radiation, which scientists believe causes uh, high cases of skin cancer. Now, as you travel up through the stratosphere, temperature actually goes up. Even though you're getting further away from the Earth, it goes up because that ozone layer is absorbing a lot of the sun's energy, causing your temperature to go up. Now, here's 